Hey up peeps, I am Moobit, and first of all, yeah, the daily vlog thing didn't pan out, did it? Uh, things got very busy very quickly, as you can see from the screen, um, if you watched the last vlog, we made a master plan for our operation as yet unnamed, which uh, I'll get to that in a bit. Um, but yeah, first we are going to um, deal with the big um, star here that you can see on your screen, and have a meeting with... Glenn, so I'll be right back to tell you how that went, along with a time lapse. Many unbearable hours later. Okay, so decent meeting with our business advisor. Um, very, very productive, very hard. He's um, because of the sheer enormity of this operation, of this idea. Um, he's been testing me to my limits um, in terms of preparing me for getting absolutely destroyed from from you know investors and stuff which is fair enough he, he's aware of fully aware of my mental health condition and obviously he's worried that um, I won't be able to handle it medically um, you know um, I've got to go and see my GP and things and make sure that they think I'm okay to go ahead and do this although I, I'm going to try and go and See the money people and the council and the politicians and stuff, you know, with my team reflector, hopefully. And maybe even my wife, who is um, a successful businesswoman in her own right. Um, so hopefully I can go in with the support of them. And it's not a case of, uh, as Glenn's warm, uh, my business advisor Glenn's warned me that uh, you go into these meetings and they just want to speak to, to who's going to be the MD kind of a thing. So there's a lot of prep to do, he's giving me some exercises to do. I've got to rewrite a business plan because uh, I'd written a business plan for launching Team Reflex Red Move It Media as it is, but obviously this is going to be a lot bigger than that. Um, so, got to rewrite a business plan, I've got to do some top level stuff. I don't know about you guys, but I, like for me, I get sort of bogged down in the sort of details and stuff like, okay, well, if it's going to be set up as this kind of a business, how does that work? Who do I employ? How do I employ them? You know, if it's going to be set up as this kind of idea, um, there's an element of uh, charity in in this idea. I can say that much. Um, so it's like, okay, what are the legalities around running a charity? And blah, blah, blah. And it's just, yeah, it's huge. <laughs> so I was getting bogged down in those details and sort of designing logos and thinking about how. The premises if we get one would be laid out and all that kind of a thing so and glenn being you know a business advice professional business advisor he's just gone no wrong he's like okay you have 30 seconds to describe your business in less than 100 words go and i'm like uh, yeah i can't do that i talk too much i'm a youtuber what, what do you want and he's like 20 seconds he's not even responding to me and I'm like, uh, yeah, but, I'm like, but my my mental health i i i there's lots of cuts in this voice over here 10 seconds <laughs> yep, failed. Again. What do you mean again? 30 seconds, go. Like, what the f... <laughs> so I'm mumbling along, mumbling along. It went, wrong, do it again. <laughs> just kept doing that. And then I kind of got it down. And then he went, okay, now you've got 10 seconds to tell me in less than 50 words. Go. What? Uh, <laughs> wrong, do it again. Wrong, do it again. Wrong, do it again. It's like, oh my god. You're being really harsh because oh, of course I'm being harsh. These people you go to see are going to be harsh. You need to get it down. <laughs> so it helped me with that. And then the final one was you got three seconds, five words, go. Yep, too late. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so yeah, it was all that kind of a stuff. Um I've got a bit of clarity. It's good. I can't wait to show you guys what this is. I'll be taking you along on the journey step by step. I'll be showing you if I get a building, how I renovate it, all that stuff. So please do subscribe. Oh, okay, so um, you can't see this, but I'm just checking my text messages. Shit, okay, uh, I need to be on camera for this. Right, so during that meeting, I don't know if you guys saw on the time lapse, my phone went off. Um, and I got a text um, saying that I am COVID-19 positive. Obviously tested myself the day before, you know. So the test came through really quickly. I'm nervous, because of course I am. 
I'm also confused because I, I, I literally, I've left the house, in three weeks, I've left the house twice. And both times I've, I've literally been sitting in a car. So like uh, the first time we couldn't get a delivery slot. Um, for, so, you know, for groceries. So I, my wife and I drove to the local supermarket. I stayed in the car. She went to the supermarket. Mask on, hand sanitizing everything she touched, you know, all that kind of stuff. Because we're both ex-nurses, we know the crack. Careful as you possibly can be. She was avoiding people. She was going down the wrong aisles to avoid going close to people, that kind of a thing. So possibly from that, something we missed, I don't know. I don't believe it. Ex nurse, she's very careful, so it can't be her. The second time, I drove my kid down to um, like a youth support group kind of a thing in the city. Again, dropped her off at the door. Stayed in the car. Um, by the way, my car is like right. I live on on a street, you know, on a, a in a. The front of our house hasn't, you know, it's like door, footpath, car, you know? So it's like, open the door, no one around, into the car, into a bubble of a car, out of the car, into the house, you know? So, being careful as anything, um, I think it's too early to say that, you know, my kid picked it up and then passed it on to us that way, because that was literally three days ago, so it's too soon for to, uh, symptoms to start, really, according to what they're saying, so. The only conclusion is it's come from a delivery driver or a parcel or, you know, it was on the surface of, we have all our groceries delivered usually, so it might have been on the surface of one of that, one of them maybe, and I'd not washed my hands immediately afterwards, perhaps. I can't think of a time when I've not washed my hands immediately afterwards, but I'm, I must have not done. So that's the only thing I can think of. So it goes to show this new strain is ridiculously contagious and I've posted on social media about having it and and to be careful and wash your hands and you know wear masks when you answer the door to delivery drivers all that kind of stuff and and people have come forward who like ex ex colleagues of mine in the NHS or like um, I've got family who work in the NHS as nurses as physios as uh, doctors all sorts of stuff so they're all saying the same thing that they know people and work with people and they've got like hazmat suits on and they've still got it, you know? So it's like, I guess the lesson is, don't get complacent. Yes, it's been a year. Yes, it's boring. Yes, it's annoying to gel your hands when you've, if you've got a paper cut or something. But I've literally not left the house in three weeks. Apart from, you know, and I, I count it as not leaving the house in three weeks because I've literally gone front door, straight into my car door, and it's been sealed the whole time. And, and we've closed off the vents to, you know, so it's circulating their own air in there rather than getting air from outside or all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, there's no HEPA filter in my car. I don't think there's a HEPA filter in my car. There might be. Uh, but anyway, you, know, you, you couldn't be much more careful than we've been safe for wearing a hazmat suit. And I've still, I've still got it. Now, obviously, I'm nervous because I'm an ex-asthmatic. I was really, really bad when I was a kid. Um, Grew out of it, but I still get the odd asthma attack every now and again, usually when the seasons change, you know, or high pollen count, that kind of a thing, but I've not needed an inhaler for, for years. So I'm worried about that because obviously it's a respiratory disease. But then, you know, this last year, as you can see, I've got a dad bod going on. So, um, well, last three years, really, because obviously I have, I've got a severe PTSD anxiety um, diagnosis which means for the most part I don't like to go out on my own I don't like to leave the house so, so yeah I've got a bit of a dad bod which means the symptoms are likely to be more severe if I get them badly and I've got asthma so yeah I'm crapping myself to be honest um, One thing I've noticed is my, since I've known my breathing's been getting worse and I've and I don't know whether that's the COVID 
or it's just the anxiety and the PTSD. Like I'm internally having a panic attack. I feel calm ish. I feel, I feel nervous, but relatively calm. But I think it's just a psychosomatic thing. Like, you know, my breathing's got worse kind of a thing. And I, I'm sure I'll be fine, but I'll keep, try and keep you updated. But if it um, affects my speech so much that I shouldn't be talking too much, then the vlogs will have to stop for a while. Oh, and the whole vlogging every day, yeah, I dropped that because um, doing the list that you saw on the last vlog, um, I'm trying to get everything set up so by the end of 2021, I can actually start working again, you know, and, and start making films. And with the operation that I told you about, the, the code name competition, it's massive. It involves talking to a lot of people, both in the film industry, TV, local government, um, local business owners, that kind of thing. It's it's going to take me a while because obviously I'm not physically well enough to to work yet, but I'm trying to just do bits, you know, via email every now and again when I feel up to it, you know. So I guess watch this space, but. We do need to pick a winner for the um, operation name, code name. So let's do that. Okay, 127 responses, not bad. Okay, let's see the operation name and we'll see what we're going to refer to it. Yeah, we've got a lot of responses on January the 13th. I think that's when I was pushing it actually. Um, Okay, and the <laughs> other please specify, what are the specification ones, does it say? Okay, well, there's only two of them, so I guess they don't count. We are officially called Operation Fezcam. There you go. By quite a margin. There you go. So Operation Fezcam it is. <laughs> that's a bit of a... <laughs> that's a bit of a, a bit of a callback to so those who don't know me from previously I, I had a channel with like a million couple of million subs and all that um, but one of the parts of it was we used to get invited as press to like you're a gamer and, and, and you know um, CEX and that kind of a thing and this was the days of like the GoPro 1 GoPro 2 um, and I was known for wearing a fez cam um, so I'd, it was literally like a GoPro poking out of a fez, you know, and I'd go round, uh, I'd have a wire going up, down and along my sleeve so I've got a proper mic and I'd go around interviewing like games developers and things but with fez cam like getting, just catching them off guard and asking them questions that maybe they've not memorised the answers if they you know, in the press room. So it's quite no, well known for that. So yeah, that's actually, I quite like that <laughs> operation fez cam it is. It'd be interesting when the um, when I send the idea to the money people trying to get get some funding for for, for it. <laughs> like what? <laughs> okay. Um, so it was first was Operation Fezcam. Um, joint second was o Operation Chucklefuck and <laughs> um, Operation Lens Flare. Uh, third was Operation Future Sight. So there you go. Uh, thank you for all the suggestions, everyone. Um, Operation Fest, can we, we are. So there we are. Um, that's it for now. Hopefully I'm well enough to keep vlogging. Because um, I want to just be straight with symptoms and things for anyone who's worried. Oh, and um, pain. And uh, until next time, I've been Ruby. You've been Awesome Source. And I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully. <laughs> Wash your hands, 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 wash your fing hands! I like to move it, move it, fit, 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 fit.